Hello, grade learners! We are now on quarter one, week three of our lesson, which is all about rational algebraic expressions. Our first topic will be focusing on illustrating rational algebraic expressions. To further understand rational algebraic expression, let us first revisit polynomials. When we say polynomial, this is an algebraic expression which consists of variables and coefficients. A polynomial can be a monomial or a polynomial with one term. Example of this one is 2y and 1. A polynomial can also be a binomial or two terms. Example of this one is 2x plus 1. A polynomial can be a trinomial or a polynomial with three terms. This is an example of trinomial x plus y minus 1 and can also be a multinomial or many terms. 2a plus b minus 3x plus 1 is an example of multinomial. Identify if the given expression is a polynomial or not. Number 1, 4x. This is a polynomial, specifically a monomial, a polynomial with one term. Number 2, 2m squared plus 3. Yes, you're right. This is also a polynomial. How about number 3? 3y raised to negative 2 minus 1. This is not a polynomial because there is a negative exponent. And number 4, the square root of x plus 2. This is also not polynomial because the variable is inside the radical sign. And now, you are ready to know more about rational algebraic expression. What is rational algebraic expression? It is a ratio of two polynomials provided that the denominator is not equal to zero. In symbols, P over Q, where P and Q are polynomials and Q is not equal to 0. The denominator cannot be 0 because a division of 0 is undefined or meaningless. Our discussion for today focuses on illustrating rational algebraic expressions. So let's check if these expressions are considered to be rational algebraic expressions or not. First, we have 4 over 5p. We also have x plus 3 over 2. Next is y squared minus 5 over 3x raised to 4 plus 2. And also m squared plus 6m plus 5 over m plus 1. All of these expressions here are rational algebraic expressions since these contain polynomial expressions in both numerator and denominator respectively. How about these expressions? First is 4 over 5b raised to negative 4. Second, we have the square root of x plus 3 over 2x. Third, we have y raised to negative 2 minus 3 over 3x raised to negative 4 plus 2 and 3m squared plus 6m plus 5 over the square root of m plus 1. All of these expressions here are not rational algebraic expressions since the expressions contain irrational numbers which are the square root of x and the square root of m and variables having negative exponents like b raised to negative 4, x raised to negative 4, and y raised to negative 2, which are not polynomials. When do we say that the given expression is a rational algebraic expression? Here are some of the tips in order for us to easily identify if the given is a rational algebraic expression. First, the expression must be in fraction form. Second, the expression must have in its numerator and denominator a constant, a variable, or a combination of both that are polynomial expressions. And third, the expression must not have a negative exponent, 
a radical sign or a fraction exponent in the variable or variables in both numerator and denominator. And now, let us apply the lesson by answering the activity entitled, Classify Me. Classify the different expressions into rational algebraic expression or not rational algebraic expression. Place the expression into the appropriate column. Number 1, x plus 5 over x minus 5. This is an example of rational algebraic expression. It is the ratio of two polynomials. Number 2, the square root of m over 2. This is not rational algebraic expression because the square root of m is an irrational number. How about b squared plus 4b plus 4 over b plus 2? Yes, this is also a rational algebraic expression. Number 4, x raised to negative 3 plus 4 over x. This is in the column, not rational algebraic expression, because there is a negative exponent, which is negative 3. And number 5, 9 over 3m squared minus 6. Yes, this is also an example of rational algebraic expression. Since you already know how to illustrate rational algebraic expression, let us now go on with the topic, Simplifying Rational Algebraic Expression. Rational Algebraic Expression is in fraction form P over Q, where Q is not equal to zero. In simplifying Rational Algebraic Expression, we have to be familiarized on how to get its simplest form, or the lowest term. But before that, let us review fraction. For number 1, we have 8 over 12. So how do we get the lowest term or the simplest form of 8 over 12? First, we have to factor the given. The factor of 8 is 2 times 4. And the factor of 12 is 3 times 4. Then, we have to cancel out the common factor of the 2, which is 4. So the final answer now is 2 thirds. Number 2, we have 15 over 45. The factor of 15 is 1 times 15. And the factor of 45 is 3 times 15. Its common factor is 15. So we have to cancel it out. And the final answer is 1 third. And for number 3, we have 12 over 8. The factor of 12 is 3 times 4, and the factor of 8 is 2 times 4. Its common factor is 4, so the remaining answer will be 3 over 2. The process of simplifying rational algebraic expression is similar to simplifying fractions. The rational algebraic expressions should be in simplest form, that is, the numerator and the denominator have no common factors other than 1. Here are the steps on simplifying rational algebraic expressions. Step 1, factor the given numerator and denominator. Step 2, cancel out common factor or factors. And step 3, multiply the remaining factor. Don't forget the acronym F, C, M. F stands for factor, C stands for cancel out, and M stands for multiply. Let's have example number 1. Simplify 8x raised to 4 over 20xy. Both are monomials. The first step is factor the given numerator and denominator. The factor of 8x raised to 4 is 2 times 4 times x times x times x times x. And the factor of the denominator 20xy is 5 times 4 times x times y. Step 2. Cancel out common factors. So the common factor of the given is 4 times x. 
And for the third step, multiply the remaining factor. The remaining factor in the numerator is 2 times x times x times x. And the remaining factor in the denominator is 5 times y. Therefore, the final answer is 2x cubed over 5y. Sometimes the given is not only a monomial. So for example, number 2, simplify 4x plus 12 over 8x plus 20. Let us again apply the given steps. First, factor the given numerator and denominator. In the given, we are going to apply factoring common monomial factor. So the factor of 4x plus 12 is 4 quantity x plus 3. And the factor of 8x plus 20 is 4 quantity 2x plus 5. Second step is cancel out common factors. And the common factor of the given is 4. As you can see, we cannot cancel x because x plus 3 in the numerator and 2x plus 5 in the denominator is a binomial. And for step 3, multiply the remaining factor. And the remaining factor in the numerator is x plus 3. The remaining factor in the denominator is 2x plus 5. Therefore, the final answer is x plus 3 over 2x plus 5. Example number 3. Simplify x squared plus 4x plus 4 over x plus 2. Following the given steps, we have step 1. Factor the given numerator and denominator. For the numerator, we are going to apply factoring perfect square trinomial. So the factor of x squared plus 4x plus 4 is the quantity x plus 2 times quantity x plus 2 all over x plus 2. Second step, cancel out common factors. The common factor of the given is x plus 2 since they are both binomial. And then, multiply the remaining factor. The remaining factor in the numerator is x plus 2 and the remaining factor in the denominator is 1. Simplifying the given, we have now the final answer, which is x plus 2. Let us now answer example number 4. Simplify y squared minus 9y plus 20 over y squared minus 25. First step, factor the given numerator and denominator. For the numerator, we are going to apply factoring general trinomial. And its factor is the quantity y minus 4 times the quantity y minus 5. And for the denominator, we're going to apply factoring difference of 2 squared. The factor of y squared minus 25 is the quantity y plus 5 times the quantity y minus 5. Step 2, cancel out common factor. The common factor in the given is y minus 5. Step 3, multiply the remaining factor. The remaining factor in the numerator is y minus 4, and the remaining factor in the denominator is y plus 5. The final answer will now be y minus 4 over y plus 5. In some instance, you may encounter certain situations where a factor in the numerator is in opposite sign of a factor in the denominator. To proceed with this kind of problem, factor out negative 1 or a negative number so that the factors will become equivalent. In example number 5, we have simplify a minus b over b minus a. Let us again apply the given step. Factor the given numerator and denominator. So for the numerator, we are going to factor out positive 1. And for the denominator, we're going to factor out negative 1. Then, cancel out common factors. In this case, we can now cancel the quantity A minus B. Third step, multiply the remaining factor. The remaining factor in the numerator is 1 
And in the denominator, we have negative 1. So dividing these numbers, we will obtain negative 1. So this is a follow-up example of example number 5. Simplify 6 minus 2x over x squared minus 9. First step, factor the given numerator and denominator. For the numerator, we are going to apply factoring common monomial factor. So the factor of 6 minus 2x is negative 2 quantity negative 3 plus x. And for the denominator, x squared minus 9, we're going to apply factoring difference of two squares. So its factor is the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 3. Which of the given are we going to cancel out? Because the next step is cancel out common factors. As you can see, we can rearrange negative 3 plus x into x minus 3. So we can now see that x minus 3 can be cancelled out. For step 3, multiply the remaining factor. The remaining factor in the numerator is negative 2 and the remaining factor in the denominator is x plus 3. The final answer will now be negative 2 over x plus 3. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.